I'm sure by now many of you have heard that more than 40 Starlink satellites have been lost after a geomagnetic storm on February 4th. SpaceX says its satellites will disintegrate upon atmospheric reentry and will not pose a risk to other space-based equipment or Earth. Now you're looking at the launch of the Falcon 9 rocket carrying 49 Starlink satellites on February 3rd, 2022. Approximately 80% of the Starlink satellites launched last week are now at risk of plunging back through the atmosphere or have already done so, like we showed on the opening clip, according to SpaceX. Now the company says a geomagnetic storm prevented the satellites from rising up to their operational orbits, and we will show you why by the end of the video. This batch of Starlink satellites took off from Kennedy Space Center on Thursday, February 3rd, atop a Falcon 9 rocket. All 49 satellites reached their intended preliminary orbits some 130 miles or 210 kilometers above the surface, and each achieved controlled flight. The satellites then attempted to rise towards their operational altitude of 340 miles, but the universe had other plans. Unfortunately, the satellites deployed on Thursday were significantly impacted by a geomagnetic storm on Friday, February 4th. Here's the Thursday numbers. Now, SpaceX said in a mission update posted on February 8th, that these storms can cause the atmosphere to warm and atmospheric density at our low deployment altitudes to increase. The reason for the initial low orbit is that should a newly launched Starlink satellite not work, the malfunctioning unit can easily be deorbited by atmospheric drag. And drag indeed there was. The geomagnetic storm had profound effects on this batch as upwards of 40 satellites will re-enter or already have, and there's evidence of that that we'll get to later. These will all enter Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX said, adding, deorbiting satellites pose zero collision risk with other satellites, and by design, demise upon atmospheric re-entry, meaning no orbital debris is created, and no satellite parts will ever hit the ground. That's good news. Now, each Starlink satellite weighs approximately 573 pounds, just 260 kilograms, which is the weight of an average North American human these days. Now, to date, SpaceX has launched over 2,000 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit, forming an interconnected network that provides broadband internet to paying customers on the surface, like us here at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, who deployed our Starlink just one week ago. And geomagnetic storms happen as the result of interactions between solar wind streams and charged particles and the Earth's magnetic field. The sun's coronal mass ejection from January 29th is likely responsible for the geomagnetic storm that took out these satellites. Now, SpaceX says it was the speed and severity of the storm that caused atmospheric drag to increase up to 50% higher than during previous launches. Controllers place the satellites into safe mode, resulting in an orientation that reduces drag, or as SpaceX put it, helps the sats take cover from the storm. The Elon Musk-led company is now working with the U.S. Space Force's 18th Space Control Squadron and LEO Labs, who, with their ground-based radars, are providing SpaceX with regular updates on the status of their wayward satellites as they re-enter. Troublingly, more cases like this could appear in the future as the sun enters into a more active phase of its 11-year cycle. Sure, SpaceX, with its intense launch schedule, is particularly susceptible. But the increasing pace at which satellites are launched means other satellite operators also need to be vigilant and on alert. Launches are often scrubbed on account of inclement weather, but it would make more sense to also scrub launches on account of unfavorable space weather. 
but apparently SpaceX didn't get the memo. SpaceX said this unique situation <coughs> demonstrates the great lengths that Starlink team has gone to ensure the systems are on the cutting and leading edge of on-orbit debris mitigation. This claim is a bit rich, given that the company's Current, the, company, the company currently has FCC permission to fly a total of 12,000 Starlink satellites and is currently seeking permission to launch another 30,000 satellites on top of that. The volume and position of these satellites are already affecting astronomical observations and adding to the growing volume of objects in space, heightening the risk of collisions and adding to a dangerous process known as the Kessler syndrome, which could make Earth orbit inaccessible for years. Now, I don't think that Elon Musk's low Earth orbit satellites pose a risk of the Kessler syndrome simply because the way they were designed, as soon as they go malfunction, they re-enter. Now, if there was a ping pong effect where one of these CubeSats, one of the Starlink satellites were to be ejected deeper into space, well, then we could have a very bad problem. The likelihood of that is low, though. Now, in the next video we're going to show you, it's amazing. We're going to take a closer look at one or perhaps two of the Starlink satellites that are already fell to Earth by the geomagnetic storm. And this is over Puerto Rico. And they fell out in a blaze of glory. And we have multiple angles and all the best shots. So take a look. Now, a camera in Anasco, Puerto Rico, captured the footage around 2.40 a.m. AST on the morning of February 7th. The camera is part of a network operated by Sociedad de Astronomía del Caribe, or SAC, a nonprofit organization composed of professionals, students, and community members with an interest in astronomy. Now, the video shows two objects appearing about one minute apart both re-entering and fragmenting. Marco Langbroek, a satellite expert from Leiden University, explained in a blog post. Now, the second object we're looking at, he said was particularly spectacular, adding that the two objects could belong to a single object that broke up earlier or two separate objects that were close together in the same orbital plane, which is typical of Starlink satellites. What we're looking at here is probably a single one breaking up. Now, Langbrook is positive that the scenes recorded above Puerto Rico can be linked to the incoming Starlink satellites. His calculations yielded orbital inclinations between 54 and 56 degrees. And while Starlink satellites are at 53.2 degrees inclined orbits, this is close enough to give the error margin, to conclude that the re-entering objects fits with the Starlink orbital plane. More scenes like these are expected in the coming days as the rest of the objects re-enter. That's just fascinating. I'll leave you links to this video. Please give my thumbs up at Kevin Zipporah and subscribe to the channel. That's all we ask. Now, how could this happen? Well, the satellites are in such a low Earth orbit, and apparently these engineers thought that geomagnetic storms were so insignificant, albeit we're looking here at the storm on the third that began. There was a pulse, and then on the fourth, it was geomagnetic storm all day with another pulse, and this is the one that probably pushed them out of orbit. Now, that's the plasma wind, which is accentuated by a CME. It, in fact, takes our magnetosphere and compresses it, which this would push the satellites from normal orbit into re-entry orbit. And this is just because they happen to get so lucky that the rocket launched and was directly facing the sun when the storm hit, pushing the satellites out of orbit. You would think they would be better trained to understand what's going on here with the solar wind and with coronal mass ejections in our magnetosphere. but. I do digress. We are talking about Elon Musk, who shot a car into space.
and promotes meme coins like Dogecoin. So there's that. And did you hear about the 760,000 Tesla recalls? Only the 40th recall of his car in the last few years. So I'm sure there will be more <laughs> Much more fireworks to come in Elon Musk's history, including, well, up to 38 or 39 more satellites re-entering in the coming days. And that is certainly a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be a hero. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. That's a boom. Mm -hmm.